We are in downtown Milwaukee. Beautiful downtown Milwaukee. I have fed that evil parking meter more money than it asked for. All right, I promised you a story. Here's a story, 100% true, believe it or not. In 1992, I was 21, and my girlfriend worked at this nightclub behind us here. In this alley. And I used to go in there and sit in her section and get drinks. And we got real drunk one night, and her boss came up and said, hey, you guys are being obnoxious. You would either knock it off or leave. And I said, you know what? I don't care, your DJ sucks. I gotta get out of here. So what do you mean the DJ sucks? I'm like, yeah, he sucks. I was very drunk. He said, all right, I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. Put your money where your mouth is. I'm gonna give you 20 minutes in my booth. If I like what you do, I'll put your bar tab tonight. If I don't, I never wanna see you in here again. And that was the start of my six year residency at this place. So in December of 1997, my daughter was born on Christmas Eve, and that's when I took a leave of absence. And they told me, hey, you always have a home here. You can always come back, but you know, life happens, and it, I just didn't come back. Uh, anyway, I get a call from Wavy Davy yesterday morning. He says, yeah, Safe House is looking for a New Year's Eve DJ. So I called, and uh, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. So I took a 25 year paternity leave and now I'm back just for New Year's. We'll see what happens. I have stories for days about my years down there in the 90s. I was in my early 20s. I was club DJ downtown. Are you kidding me? Some I can tell, some I might tell later, some I can't because, well, I can't. But maybe if you see me someday in private, you want to hear the stories um maybe i'll tell you some of them <laughs> but i didn't take any interior shots in there because I, I was catching up with the bartender mark who's still there he's been there forever and yeah, the last man standing now it used to be independently owned by a gentleman named david baldwin and his nephew brian at the time when i was there was the manager of the place dave has recently passed away and when he did, he sold the establishment, which has been around since 1966, by the way, to Marcus Corporation, which owns a lot of stuff. Hotel, the hotel management group. They own a lot of things. The movie theaters, Grand Geneva, remember that? That was a Marcus property. They actually owned that property and they managed it. It was their flagship property. You know, I was down at Evolve several nights a week. Well, this is the same company that now owns Safe House. Management's super cool. Talked to a dude named Phil. He's the GM there, nice guy. Kind of scoped out the situation. They moved my booth. It's not where it used to be. I got a picture from, I don't know, probably six years ago when I took um, Brian K, TJ Brian K. I took him there when he was in town for one of the Midwest shows. And I was standing behind the booth, but they've changed it since. <laughs> yeah, there's no equipment there. You have to just plug into their system. And we'll see how that goes. I have some prep to do. I have to get a, a table ready. That's a good height for me to be in this caged area I'm going to be in. It's, I'm in like a cage. They call it the the, uh, the armory, I believe. They call it the, yeah. So i got to fit a table in there, and I could do my mixer and a laptop stand and a computer. And I, I don't know what's going to happen after this. I'm doing it. They're very excited. And you know what I love about Phil? He said to me, he said, look, I don't know anything about this. You're the professional. I leave it up to you. Him and I are going to get along great. Just, he's not a micromanager. He's just, hey, you do what you do. I trust you, and I'll do what I do. That's fantastic. I, I love working with people like that who, who trust your professionalism. And I, I really hope I don't disappoint. I, I think they're going to like what I have to offer. That's what I'm doing. This is my New Year's gig. And if you're wondering about money, I don't want to disclose what they're giving me, but what I will say is that they're making it very worth my while. And who knows, maybe this could be the start of a new relationship. Maybe this isn't just a one-off. We don't know. But I'm happy to go down there and do this. Kind of a homecoming. 25 years ago, like to the, to the week really, that I left, I'm back. 25 year paternity leave. Stevie said it was okay. I, I could go ahead and go back to work after 25 years. <laughs> That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. And stay tuned for the gig log. I'll see you next time. I appreciate you so much. Practice 
and enjoy.